I'm about to dye my hair. Oh, yes, I am. These grays be throwing shade, okay? Hey, guys. One of my subscribers suggested that I do a video showing how I dye my hair. Now, keep in mind that I do have a video, like, sometime back when I dyed my hair. I pretty much use the same dye, you guys. It is by Clairol. The color that I use is Silk and Black. Now, I always use this dye no matter what when I'm dyeing my hair. I've been dyeing my hair for years. That's time that I dyed my hair an actual color. I left the color in too long and my hair became over processed and damaged. So I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I made when I dyed my hair back in 2014. So when I do my black hair dye, I do not keep it in more than the recommended time that's on the box, which is about 25 minutes. Two boxes is never enough. Um, especially with the length of my hair and how much hair I have. I'm going to try to stretch this out as best as I can. Make sure I get the front first, you know, down the middle, like just all in the front because when I say that my grays be throwing shade, they throw so much shade. So as you guys can see, I have grays all up in the middle of my hair and it seems to be that they're shorter than the rest of my hair. So it kind of, you know, stands out from the crowd <laughs> so i'm just gonna go ahead and take care of it because i just can't take these gray hairs any longer okay I'm gonna go ahead and open the box just to show you guys what's inside the box what comes with it so first and foremost you get the non-ammonia moisture rich hair color so you have the color activating cream which is step two you want to take the hair color mix it in the color activating cream and shake it up they also provide you with a deep conditioning treatment by pantene this conditioner is bomb okay so they always provide you with the conditioner as well as the instructions. you will always want to make sure you read the instructions before you apply and they do provide you with um gloves so i will be putting those on before i actually work with any of these products because it is a chemical so they give you like these little gloves. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this color activating cream. Just pull off the little nozzle at the top and then just open up the applicator bottle. And you want to open up the hair color. And you just want to go ahead and pour the hair color into the color activating cream. Just make sure you get all of that in there. Let's go ahead and put the nozzle back on and here comes the fun part that I hate doing which is shaking the product up. I already applied the hair color to the activating cream and I shook it up and everything like that so that is already done. That's going to be prepared for me when I'm ready to apply it but you just want to shake it up really really good until you see the color start to develop so i have my color all mixed up and now i'm going to go ahead and section off my hair into four sections it's best to section off your hair i like to do mine into four sections so this would be one section So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and add some Vaseline or some type of hair cream to protect your whole entire hairline. So I'm just going to add some Vaseline. I'm going to start on this side here since this is closest to the camera and I'll probably do this side off camera just for the sake of time. What I like to do is just divide my hair into like one inch sections. And I'm just gonna clip this, clip the rest out of the way. Now it says not to use metal clips in your hair and as you guys can see the clips that I'm using have some metal in it. So I'm not gonna apply the clip to where I'm applying the hair color. We'll need to use clips just so you can pin your hair up out of the way. So I'm gonna start with this section here. Take my hair color, give it one more good shake. And I'm gonna start like closest to my roots because this is like new, like virgin hair, if you wanna say virgin hair. So this is like new hair, so it's more stronger. 
I never start at the ends. You never want to start at the ends because this is the most fragile part of your hair. It's the oldest part. So I'm finished applying the dye to this side of my hair. As you guys can see, it's turning really black. And this side here is just really dull and ashy and the gray hairs, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this side off camera. So I'm all done dyeing my hair. I did need two and a half boxes, but I only had two as you guys seen. So next time I'll probably just end up getting three so I can make sure I get my whole entire head completely. But I think I did pretty good. This is what it's looking like. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about 25 minutes. If you're relaxed, it says to leave it on for about 20 minutes, but if you're not relaxed or permed, then you would just go ahead and leave it on for 30 minutes, but I'm going to leave it on for 25 minutes because it took me a few minutes to kind of clean up some of the dye that was all over my body. I am going to go ahead and um, put a plastic bag over my head and let this sit in my hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair. So this is the shampoo that I'm going to be using, which is by Shea Moisture. 
It is the raw shea butter and uh, something. I can't pronounce that. But I'm going to be using this to shampoo my hair. So after I'm finished shampooing my hair, I'm going to come back and show you guys my results. So stay tuned. So this is how my hair looks after being dyed. So it looks like it covered my gray hairs completely, so I'm happy about that.